good morning good morning good morning youtube it is a happy friday i hope you're having a great morning but you know not but i decided to talk about something this morning on the way to school i did not know or i had no idea what the case may be that when you get pregnant guys come out the woodwork and these guys are not the ones we i know for a fact you're just here because you want pregnant pussy so to speak um and i know a lot of people are offended by that word but i'm not so it is what it is but yeah people guys want pregnant pussy but these guys are willing to wait to after i have the baby and we get settled together for us to have in a relation have a relationship so they can raise my child i have an ex that's trying to do that because yeah he fucked up what we had going on and you know after a while i ended up dating not dating dealing with the guy that i had the baby with stuff like that and guys after him stuff like that and he's like willing to come back around someone he still loved me um another guy that i was talking to after my ex uh we broke up may 2017 and there were two guys that i started dealing with later on that year that i started chit-chatting with you know we had sex what the case may be but it wasn't like together or <laughs> like he one in the morning one at night it wasn't nothing like that it was just one I would chill with for a little bit we kind of drift off and then I get bored and start texting the other one a little bit more and I'm now I'm now spending time at this guy's house that type of shit ladies y'all know what I'm talking about I mean y'all know what I'm talking about too but anyway that's pretty much how the situation goes so one I got an ex and he's like, I'm about to get an apartment or get a um, town home with enough space for us. And I'm like, um, I hope you're doing it for your daughter, you and your daughter, because, you know, I'm I'm okay. We're okay. Thank you. I'm not trying to go back that way. Two, the second one, there's no way in hell this baby could be his, but he's willing to go ahead and step up out of nowhere and be a father and have a family. And I think it's really because... He's, we're, at, we're the same age. He's getting to the point of, you know, he's just ready to settle down. And he do love me. I know he cares for me and stuff like that. He's willing to accept the situation that I'm in because he wants, you know, us. Same goes for the third guy who's older than me. Wants to make something work. Now, he's been, he's never been married. He has no kids. So, you know, he's, he's definitely willing. Like, okay, I'm getting older. You already have a kid, so let's go ahead and make this type, this thing work type situation. But the whole catch to it is, I have somebody already. And no, I, it's not my baby daddy. I don't deal with him. I, from the moment me peeing on the stick, I was like, hell no. Hell no. His attitude, his demeanor, everything about him was not going to work for us. And I don't, I really don't want, I don't, I don't want him imprinting on my child in no sort no shape or form like not at all but anyway the new the guy i'm with now we've been talking since around my birthday we did graduate together and things like that so i'm excited i'm happy about what we got going on you know we made it official probably a month in you know we had sex a little bit after type thing so, you know, I've not, I just never, I never intended on, it's not that I never intended on being pregnant and being low. Cause after a while I realized like, I'm just going to do like my, I'm just going to have a kid and it's going to be me and my baby because the guy is just, it's just getting crazy for me to do it the way that you have, you're taught or raised to do it, settle down and then have a kid. I just got to the point of, I guess it's going to be me and my kid cause I can't find nobody that to settle down with. I don't know. It's kind of crazy because you can't settle down with them, but you're willing to have a kid, which means you might actually end up living with that same person anyway. I don't know. It's weird, but I just, I don't know. But yeah, I, don't, I, I never intended on, you know, dealing with somebody while pregnant. And I guess that's mainly because, you know, I don't know how it is in other other cultures or anything like that, but in the African American culture and the black culture, you know, you are that's frowned upon. You pregnant and you dealing with somebody else, you automatically a thought, a whole slut, anything else people want to call you. Um, 
the baby ain't his, all that shit go on. But I can't help that somebody decided to step up. I can't deny the fact that this man has done everything he was supposed to do. I can't I can't deny the fact that this man does everything that I've ever wanted or needed, not wanted, needed from a guy. Well, he got me chopping off niggas that, that I didn't had around for years. No matter who I dated, I wouldn't have a sex with them while I was with somebody else. But, you know, if they hit me up, what you need? I'm going to answer. I'm going to be there for you. Right now, I don't even... I feel bad if I answer the phone or text this person back now. Like, I don't even... Well, that's how, that's how I was in the beginning. Now, I just don't even bother to communicate with the people at all. I'm really on the verge of changing my number oh, for this guy. Like, because I don't even... I don't want to ruin something so great. Like, I've never had anybody to do the things my dad has done for me make sure i got some money in my pocket for the day you know make sure my gas is you know i got gas in the car he gives me his car if i'm out of a car he gets my car inspected you know all like because he's not a car man so he gets somebody else to do it for me he's worried about my well-being you know he rubs my back and my feet everything because I'm, I'm my ankles are swollen and everything my, i'm at the point where I'm about to pop and everything aches. He drives, he'll get up or leave work after a long day and make sure that I get what I am have a taste for. Something that's on the other side of town. Like, stuff like that. He gets up and drives and starts my car so I don't have to go into a cold car. Like, I don't, I've never had any of that. And randomly I might come home, especially if he, not even especially, randomly. I can come home and there'll be something, a little gift and everything going to bed. And if he's, he know he's hurt my feelings or whatever the case may be. And hell, half the time he hurt my feelings because I'm emotional. <laughs> it's not because he really, really hurt, hurt, hurt my feelings. If I wasn't pregnant, it probably wouldn't have been that bad. But it doesn't matter. It's the fact that, you know, it was anything but a smile that he gave me. He, he has a gift. I've... I had guys bring me stuff on my birthday or Christmas, stuff like that. It'd be petty little stuff. But most of the time, I'm not with somebody at that time. Or it's somebody I'm dealing with that just got money to blow. And that shit don't matter to me. I'm dealing with you because you got money to blow so I don't have to spend my money type shit. So, in this situation, he makes me want to do better and, and change my ways to make him happy. He bought he bought me things I didn't want anything for Christmas. He still bought me things. Um, he ordered me some things, and on top of that, gave me a hundred fifty in the car. Like I've never. Some girls get thousands of dollars. Me, I'm happy to get a hundred and fifty in a car from somebody that truly cares and it's something coming from their heart versus. I got money to blow. I give you two two hundred right here in the morning, two hundred in the afternoon, two hundred at night. Like that's how my baby daddy was. I'm gonna give you this later, or I give you a thousand. You come spend a night with me. Shit like that. Like I'm I'm over that shit. I think I'm I've had everything. My dad always told me, so you wild also get it all out your system before you settle down. I think I've done it. And this one right here, I'm definitely excited about settling down with. Hold on, y'all. Let me order me something real fast. Order me some breakfast. Uh, some breakfast. What well, time gives you one moment, please? Okay. But anyway, yeah. So I'm, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Talking about getting moving into a place. My mom and them are going to build a new house. We're going to rent the the house that I'm in. You know, the house that we all have now from them. We're going to do big things. <laughs> I'm excited. But one day I'll introduce y'all to him. He's the love of my life. Second love of my life first love of my life <laughs> of course you got the higher power but everybody I wish y'all a great day I'm gonna go ahead and order my food with our food and get to school because I'm already late because of the weather and people don't know how to drive bye